Hello everyone, welcome to the 7 weeks of Flutter and Firebase Developer Bootcamp. This bootcamp is going to change your app development journey by taking you from very basic steps to the advanced steps in app development with Flutter and Firebase. This bootcamp consists of 7 weeks. Each week contains a bunch of resources for you to learn. And in this bootcamp, you're gonna learn a lot of things about Flutter and Firebase. From setting up Flutter SDK to publishing your own app on Play Store and App Store. You're gonna learn real app development, software development best design principles and patterns. Our main focus will be to keep our code as clean as possible in Flutter specific in order to build scalable, maintainable, and testable apps with Flutter technology. This bootcamp will provide you with all the resources that are required for becoming an in-demand Flutter developer so that you will be confident about the apps you build. So before getting to know about the slides of this bootcamp that visualize everything you are going to learn throughout this bootcamp, let's make this interaction more interesting by starting with an inspiring dominoes effect story. Imagine a line of dominoes. Each one is little bigger than the one before it. This, my friends, symbolize our journey through seven weeks of Flutter and Firebase development bootcamp. It all starts with just a small push on the very first domino. And in our case, the first step is to install Flutter SDK. It may seem insignificant like the smallest domino but this small step can set into motion a cascade of events leading to significant results. In the book, The One Thing, the author Gary Keller refers to this the domino effect. It's about understanding the power of exponential growth, the ripple effect that comes from knocking down that first domino. Each week of the boot camp is progressively a larger domino. We start with the fundamentals and then we move to the advanced concepts and by the end of the sound week, you are publishing your own app on Play Store and App Store. You see, success is sequential, not simultaneous. The path to become a successful Flutter developer is not about doing everything at once, but doing right things in right order consistently. Just like a small domino with that gentle nudge starts a chain reaction. The skills you learn each week builds upon the previous ones and by the end of the bootcamp you will have achieved something great. And it does not stop here. The skills you gain from this bootcamp will serve as a push for the next larger set of dominoes in your career. Each app you develop, each problem you solve will bring you one step closer to becoming an extraordinary Flutter developer. Remember. Every extraordinary result start with the first step. So are you ready to push your first domino? In our case, our first domino will be our week one. In the week one, we will push our first domino and start our journey towards the success of achieving extraordinary results. We will first learn what is Flutter and why you should choose Flutter for app development. And then we will take initiative in our bootcamp by installing Flutter SDK in multiple platforms and then go for learning the very basics of Dart programming language. That what is Dart and what are the fundamentals of Dart and how much Dart language you need to learn for becoming a Flutter developer. So we will teach you all the fundamentals of Dart in the week one. And then we will step by step go to build simple layouts and some other things using Flutter technology. And these will be the things we are going to build and learn throughout the week one that you can see on the slide of the week one. In the second week, the second domino will start falling itself if you are consistent with what you have intended for in the first week. In the second week, we are going to learn different types of widgets and their uses. And the very interesting thing in week two is we are going to learn the flutter and block the state management solutions. And why this block make this week two more interesting is that in Flutter, we have the business logic and the UI code both in the same language, which is Dart. So this block will be used to manage the state efficiently in Flutter and separate the business logic from the UI code, which is very really important thing that 
everyone should know about. So we're gonna cover this in the week 2. And if you have some Android background like a native Android development, where we have this block and some other stat management solution are like the view models. In native Android, we have the view models, but in Flutter, we have the block qubit and other stat management solutions. And why we are going to use this block and its subset qubit is because this is also recommended by the Google itself. So it's used in larger application. So we will start learning it by the middle of the week two. So after learning how the block and qubit works, we're going to build a very small application on this like counter app and a Firebase basic app. And yes, we're also going to learn the basics of Firebase and its authentication to just get a feel of Firebase that how it works. We will use its authentication and also its cloud file store database for using a simple CRUD operations like that. So that's it. And lastly, we're going to build a notes app using Flutter and Firebase. So that is going to be a really best achievement in our week two. You're going to learn a lot of things in just week one and week two. And then week three is more exciting, like building the complex UIs in Flutter. You will get to know about different constraints and how Flutter works in with different widgets and all of that stuff. We will build the LinkedIn clone, the food app clone and the LinkedIn clone with web. And also you will be given with an exercise to build a complex UI in Flutter after building the LinkedIn clone and the food app and also the LinkedIn web clone. And after that, you might be familiar with all the things that how to build a complex UI in Flutter and also how to take care of each and every little thing while development and building UI with Flutter. And with that, in week 3, you will also get to know about how Flutter actually works under the hood. Like, we are only familiar with the things that we see on the screen. Like, the things, the widgets, we write widgets, like we configure widgets and get the result on our emulator but we don't know how actually things are happening under the hood. So we're gonna learn how the flutter rendering process actually works under the hood. So that's gonna be very interesting part also in the week 3. And next thing we're gonna do in week 3 is to learn the solid principle. It's a coding principle used in object-oriented programming. And you don't have to worry about object-oriented programming because we will cover it at very first of the week one while pushing our first domino and starting our journey towards success of achieving extraordinary results. So that's all you'll be doing in week three. Seems to be a lot, right? So by the end of the week three, you will have that much knowledge of everything in Flutter to build some apps using Flutter and Firebase. So that's gonna be great. And then moving to our fourth and five weeks. Here, we are gonna do something extraordinary. We are gonna build a WhatsApp fully functional app with almost all the features like chatting, sending messages, text messages, replies, sending GIFs, images, videos, voice notes, all of the things, functionality with chat and the video calling and status, call history, all of the things that you can see on the slide of the four and five weeks. And not only this, it's not enough. We are gonna do, we are gonna learn also how to keep our code maintainable and scalable and also testable having these all of the features in our app. Because this bootcamp is all about keeping everything clean as possible. So it's not about doing everything spaghetti, like just learn it and do it. But it will be about to learn, implement, also take care of the cleanness of our code. So this four and five weeks is going to be very interesting because you're going to learn a lot of things that features you see on the slides of the four and five week. So by the end of this week, you will have almost so much knowledge about Flutter and you will be able to build larger applications. And after this, we will move to our sixth week. And this is our sixth domino. So here, what we are going to do is to revise the clean architecture so that you can remember it easily and will not forget. 
And the next interesting things we're going to do in week six is to build the Google Map clone with the functionalities you can see on the slide. Integrating Google Map in Flutter show markers, get the user location in stream, draw polylines between two points, saving place and all of that stuff. And there are two more interesting things in week six that are some handling some background jobs like now we have learned almost anything that has been done on front end but what about doing something on background like we have some resource intensive tasks that can be done or must be done on the background so for that we will use the cloud function of firebase and in week 6 we will use cloud function to send the push notifications to the devices so you will learn how to write cloud functions in different language will be a typescript or javascript so you will also learn how to work with the cloud function some background stuff and then lastly in week 6 you will learn how to create your own package and finally to publish it on pubdev pubdev is an online package manager which makes flutter developers life easier by providing the built-in packages and which reduce a lot of work so we don't have to do so much work but use packages and make our development journey easier i also have built one package that is flutter story view so we're gonna also look at this especially in the four or five week while building the whatsapp one here we need the flutter story view we we're gonna have the stories or let's say statuses so for that we need this so we will use this package that i have built so you can check that package in my github account i will give the link in the video description so that's all you will learn till the week six and then moving to the last week week seven you're gonna learn something great and very advanced the first thing is writing the platform specific code like there are some functionality that cannot be done with just flutter so for that we have to write some platform specific code in kotlin or java or in i for ios in the swift or objective c so to achieve some extra functionality in flutter the things that cannot be done directly with flutter so for that we have to write the platform specific code so in simple words interacting with the native platform from the flutter and then we are going to learn how to write tests which is really a complex task so you're also going to learn how to write tests in flutter what are tests why we are writing tests and everything the test includes widget test integration test and the unit test so you will get to know about this why we are writing tests and what are these three kinds of tests in flutter and lastly we will upload our flutter app on play store and app store so here your journey will be completed with me that was amazing or not now you might say well okay that's great but i might say go to my website and purchase this course and all of that stuff but no there is nothing something like that the boot camp is completely free and will be uploaded on this channel and i'll be your instructor along the seven weeks of this boot camp of flutter and firebase so like and subscribe and share this bootcamp's introduction with your friends and colleagues who are interested in learning real app development. So that's it. I will see you in the first video of the week one, pushing your first domino and taking your first step towards the success of achieving extraordinary results and become an extraordinary Flutter developer.